You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. So it's, it's, it's just the most annoying thing to weed. Yeah. So that's cleavers. And then we have in here um, brook mint. And so brook, brook mint, mint, that's, I brook mint smells like mint, like a chocolate mint, mm -hmm. but it's, it's got an edge to it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's really good for digestion. Um, and then finally we have uh, lavender. You can add a few lavender leaves if you want. Some people are like, d just detest lavender. Other people love lavender. It's up to you. Lavender is a relaxant, is a calmer. So my preferred blend of tea is lemon balm, lavender, and brook mint. And that seems to cover all the bases and it's just a refreshing, freshing tea. And I'll even drink, I'll drink it hot or I'll drink it cold and it doesn't matter. It's in our teapots, right? Whatever yeah. we may want in our yeah. teapots. Pick, pick a pot. And how much would we okay. use of this? Oh, you could use just one sprig or a couple leaves. Just, it depends if you want a, a stronger one, you can use a lot. If you want to just be safe, use a little. But, and just use the whole leaf? Yeah, you can use the whole leaf. Now, I'll get you to take a little, little leaf of this. This is just pepper cress. This was just one that's out right now. You take a little bit of it and you can, you can, you know, um, try it and you should get a peppery taste. At first it'll taste like you're foraging grass, or you're eating grass, and then at the end of it you'll get a little peppery taste. Mm -hmm. Taste from the pepper press to nope. No? Oh, I threw it in my oh, teeth. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to try some now. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah. I'll go to mm, You got mm -hmm. it in the end too. Oh, it's lovely. I just take that and I'll just eat all of it. Yeah, exactly. So beautiful. Yeah. I actually transplanted it to my place because I didn't have any when I was there. Oh, good idea, Bridget. I like doing that. Mm -hmm. It is a fabulous year for weeds. One way that I've learned when I'm out foraging and testing stuff, uh, for example, the salmon berry sprig that I mentioned the other day, I, I, I peeled off the outer skin of it and put it in my mouth and it was bit, I just spit it out right away. Your body kind of knows if it's something edible or not. Uh, but if you're unsure, test it. Wait a minute. If there's any tingle to your tongue, as Lisa was suggesting, a tingle to your tongue or your, something in your head says no, then just don't eat it. So yeah. almost there's a lot of edible things out there. This does not apply to leaves. And the next thing you know, our throats are swelling. Whoa. And because yeah. it has oxalic acid, really it's like careful. eating yeah. rhubarb leaves. Yeah. So oh, we have, we phoned up the um, poison control and I'm like, so um, yeah, a friend of mine. <laughs> Um, she wants to know what would happen, and I'm like, and my voice is like, my friend wants to know what will happen when, if you boil and eat, like, and so the, um, the fellow on the line, he goes, well, you can tell your friend that, you know, you shouldn't eat skunk cabbage leaves. Yeah. Um, and what we had done was we, and we were in the middle of the bush, so we phoned her husband. He looked it up on the, on the Facebook or website or whatever. And it said, yeah, in, in times of dire starvation, Indigenous peoples ate skunk cabbage. Oh, okay. Well, in fact, what, they, the what you can cabbage. eat yeah. is you get the root. You have to, like, wash the root, boil the root, wash the root, boil the root. Yeah. And you have to, it takes a lot of treating to actually yeah. eat it. And so um, my, my <laughs> guidance is do your research before yeah. you go out. In the creation story for the Haudenosaunee people, it's a long and involved story, I won't get into it, but suffice to say, the way the world was created was that Sky Woman was booted out of the Sky World, and as she's falling, she grabs some seeds. And um, she falls and lands on the back of a turtle, and um, eventually this becomes uh, North America, right? Like Turtle Island, that's where that comes from. It's very specifically Eastern culture. It's no, they don't use that out here. So Turtle Island is really an Eastern culture thing. So the three sisters were some of the three um, foods that she brought from the Sky World. Corns, beans, and squash. And what they did traditionally was that you would grow your corn up, um, your corn, and then the squash would grow around the bottom, and the beans would grow up. 
the top. And so the squash on the bottom would provide shade for the smaller plants and whatnot, and the corn would add the structure for the beans to grow up, and so that's why they call them the Three Sisters. So. Now the strawberry drink is a very sacred drink, is a very important drink, because the strawberry is the first food, the first medicine that comes up in the, in the spring. Mm -hmm. And so they, there's even a strawberry ceremony mm -hmm. that you do in, a, in, in, the, in the longhouse that recognizes the importance of the strawberry. Last week, everything kind of kept happening. Things went missing, oh, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you, you don't, you're not really supposed to talk about them, but there, there's a belief that there's little people and the little people will do things. Mm -hmm. And the little people are there and they mm -hmm. kind of teach you mm -hmm. lessons or they, you know, t and they also teach you to slow down and they do, and mm -hmm. they do these things. But if you give them copper, mm -hmm. then that keeps them from, they get distracted by the copper because they like the copper. And they need Jennifer and I. Needles <laughs> in Jennifer's purse, then shall we? We can't keep them because they're from Ireland. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs>